Hey everybody, welcome to the Temple 420 Bible Study and Torah Tour. I'm Charlie, I'll be your tour guide, and we are just finishing up Malachi. We went through Malachi 1 and 2, and we're hearing the separation by divorce because we cheat on God, and we're learning what we say. He asks us questions, and we say, I don't know. So we're going to hear another question and answer in Malachi 3. Change your perspective. It changed mine. So the daily offering is an aroma that is satisfying, pleasing, and food. And I think cannabis is hemp. And at that point, we're burning hemp. We're cooking in a kitchen over a boiling pot of reeds. Another biblical joke. And at that point, I don't see anything wrong with breathing the aroma of food because that's the first thing we do because we have a sense of smell. Anyways, people have been divided on this land, the land of Cana, since the spies went out. And they went out and said, oh, it's good land. It's a bad land. And I'm like, no, it's totally a good land. It's food for thought. It's brain power. It is positive energy, positive thoughts. Speaking of that, let's think about what God's about to say through the prophet Malachi in his thoughts, and then he's a scribe, so he writes it down. Breaking the covenant through injustice, or flip it, keeping the covenant through justice, and here's a foreshadowing on words, Jesus is called justice in one of the sentences in the New Testament. Just interesting. So here's the conversation. God speaking to us, and this is his response about what we will say, which we're saying right now. You have wearied the Lord with your words. How have we wearied him, you ask? By saying, all who do evil are good in the eyes of the Lord. And he is pleased with them. Now, a direct reference to pleasing, satisfying aroma of food. So if you bring the right offering, Abel, you're good. Unless Cain beats the shit out of you. Where is the God of justice? Uh Uh-huh. God's response to the question is awesome. I will send my messenger who will prepare the way before me. Then suddenly the Lord you are seeking will come to his temple, the messenger of the covenant whom you desire will come, says the Lord Almighty. But who can endure the day of his coming? Who can stand when he appeared? For he will be like a refiner's fire, or a launderer's, a launderer's soap. He will sit as a refiner and purifier of silver. He will purify the Levites and refine them like gold and silver. Wow, let's pause there, okay, before we get too long into it and run out of time. Refined by gold, Revelations 3.18. Jesus counsels us to take the gold, which is from the land of Havilah and Cush in the Garden of Eden, that is aromatic resin. So take the gold, add fire, and you get the plume of smoke. And then Jesus says again, hey, which is greater, the gold or the temple? Well, God built this body, becoming the temple. It's not built by man. It's not wandering in the desert. Wait. It is still wandering in the desert. We are wandering before, between parted waters above and below, trying to pure ourselves, purify ourselves with the offerings. We'll be right back with more offerings.